What is good, everybody? Today, we are back with brand new wrestling action figure news, man, of all kinds. We have all kinds of news to cover today, man, and it's exciting, man, because we are revving up for our WWE Mattel Creations revealed event. It's not really a WWE event. It is a Mattel Creations event, but they are having a schedule where I believe on Friday at 10 something a.m., something like that, they're going to be doing a revealed event. We've talked about it a little bit. I believe it's just going to be like a live stream, and they're going to get on there and reveal different action figures, but they actually released sort of a tease or a lead up to the reveal revealed event and we're going to cover that here today if you guys missed our video from the other day and i did a short on this yesterday as well revealing what was a cm punk action figure man they actually revealed the cm punk figure to us and it is just a render shot of course but we do have some information on the figure that i'm going to dive into and i'm going to dive into all of my thoughts about this figure but on friday at 10 15 a.m i do believe this is pacific time so they are in los angeles adjust your clock accordingly for me it'll be like 12 15 p.m i think when this live stream goes up but on the west coast it will be 10:15 on the east coast it'll probably be 1 15 right if i'm not mistaken just kind of you know plan accordingly but we're going to cover all the news here we're going to see whatever's revealed we're going to talk about it and discuss it but i don't know if they're actually going to have a prototype of this figure revealed or not but let's get into all of my thoughts man the cm punk action figure that they showed off now originally the mystery was is this figure an elite is it an ultimate what the hell's going on with this you know they showed the teaser with the little cm punk background and they finally revealed it to us and apparently this is going to be an elite figure they have put up some information here on mattel Creator here and it says WWE Elite Collection CM Punk Returns action figure. It is going to retail for $25 on Mattel Creations. Again, this is a Mattel Creations exclusive and this figure is apparently going to be going up for pre-order at 10.20 a.m. Pacific time on March 22nd. Now, now, I do imagine this is probably going to be up for about two or three weeks. I would imagine through WrestleMania this figure is going to be up for pre-order. I bet at WrestleMania World they'll probably have the CM Punk there and either it's going to be a really early prototype of the figure or maybe it'll just be a flat render shot shown off and it'll probably say scan this QR code and pre-order this figure and it'll probably end on Monday after Wrestlemania or something like that if I had to guess you know giving us that two two and a half three week window to pre-order this figure but I imagine it will be on display at Wrestlemania World where you can pre-order it right there to catch you know some casuals walking through there that don't really collect that much they'll be like oh damn they're making CM Punk I gotta pre-order this and $25 is, is an amazing price point you know I think that that allows for a lot of people to grab it but it does say $25 the launch date it's gonna go up for pre-order during that live stream so I'm probably just gonna add a tab and go over there and pre-order it I guess uh, is what I would imagine so this thing goes up for pre-order five minutes after the live stream goes on the air and it is a legit live stream I think it's like a live event it's not going to be pre-recorded so everything you know what I'm saying it's going to be in the heat of the moment there but let's read the little lore that it has going on right here before I get into my thoughts on the figure the prodigal son of WWE returns CM Punk is back and ready to reclaim WWE gold after almost 10 years away relive his epic surprise entrance at Survivor Series 2023 with our elite collection action figure. This made-to-order version of the Second City Saint features details like his signature tattoos and comes with two different soft goods t-shirts. WWE Elite Collection Punk Returns action figure wears his street clothes just like in his surprise return to WWE. Figure stands at approximately six inches tall with 24 points of articulation. Includes two soft goods t-shirts, watch accessory, and interchangeable hands. Packaging replicates elements of the Survivor Series 2023 entrance. So a lot of things going on with this figure, man. Let's dive into the figure itself and get into my thoughts. I think from head to toe, you know, a lot of people were, were like upset that it wasn't a, a wrestling gear and remember we talked about this remember I said you know I don't think that they would be able to design a figure based on his Royal Rumble gear unless they had that figure early early in the works and they had everything done except for the wrestling gear now I will get into some other information about this later but just getting into the figure being his return gear I think it's solid you guys know that I love street attires I love promo gears of actual wrestling talent AEW and Jazzwares puts out a lot of figures like that so I have no worries or issues with that whatsoever man I think that any promo gear or anything like that I'm all money for I don't think I have any quarrels with that right there this does look to be a brand new leg mold by the way like everything here does look to be new you have these like skinnier looking jeans here which are really nice you could reuse those so much man I'm so glad they actually put this in because I think that you could actually reuse this over and over again for many superstars you know we've always gotten the baggy pants we've never had like a tight athletic fit legs so I think this is going to allow for a lot of range of motion here which I'm really excited about it does look like from this angle, it looks like these are brand new sculpted shoes as well. He's got the Adidas in there. I do believe he was wearing Adidas, but they did take one of the stripes off. So it's going to have a lot of details, man. I mean, it looks really, really cool. And I know that 
Again, people want wrestling gear punk, obviously, but it was such a big moment that I think you do have to make this moment into an action figure. I think that this is a, a pretty good one here. And you know, they're going to make so many wrestling gear punks, but I think that having this street of gear, you know, it's, it's skippable for people that don't really care for it. They want to wait on the wrestling gear, go for it. But this replicates that moment, that epic return moment of CM Punk. So I think that this is a great release in terms of that. I like the moment. It looks to be a cool figure, and he also comes with two t-shirts here, but let's let's just, let's go head to toe here and discuss the whole figure. See, you know, this is a render shot, so it's kind of difficult to tell in the, the head sculpt and whatnot, but I do imagine, it, like, Mattel is so good now at doing head sculpts. I imagine this figure's head sculpt is going to be right on the money. It looks good in the render shot, so that's really all you can say, and it does have two cloth goods t-shirts. Now, this is going to be a shirtless punk figure in these jeans, which I really like. If you go through the images here, he's going to have a sculpted on belt, which is nice. It has the same CM Punk body from his figures of old. I didn't expect them to change it. I am fine with them reusing the Daniel Bryan torso. I did say in my, you know, I don't like the Daniel Bryan torso whatsoever, but I only, I said that there's only like a, a couple dudes really that they could use it for and it actually work and make sense. And CM Punk is one of those guys. So that really doesn't bother me all that well. And plus we're accustomed to it. I mean, they've been releasing CM Punk figures for 10 years almost now. I mean, I know there was that long hiatus, but they've been making CM Punk figures for a very long time, and I think that uniformity before between those two, even though his body may have not changed that much, I think that's the way to go. I think this is fine here. But all the tattoos look pretty damn good, man. You guys are going to notice they actually are going to try their hand at an off-brand quote-unquote Pepsi tattoo. It's got the circle with the half red, half blue. You know, maybe not as close to it as the Jazzwares version, but I still like that they at least attempted it here and they aren't just trying to remove it. You know, back in the day, man, they would just remove it completely. It wouldn't even be there. And then on the other side, they didn't really even try to do the Cobra tattoo. But you know what? I, you know, we've come so far with decals and stuff. It should be really easy to put that in there. And then his G.I. Joe tattoos and stuff like that, it does look a bit off. It just looks like a square, which is kind of weird. But at the same time, I think there's going to be ways around this. You know, our, our decal people and stuff like that are going to be able to do so. And also, this is just a render shot. Maybe there's some adjustments they can make. This may not be exactly what the figure's going to look like. Things are, you know, little variations and things like that change all the time. So maybe this figure's tattoos and stuff could also change. And it's cool because Mattel has never done a completely shirtless, wrist tapeless CM Punk figure. So you're getting the tattoos on the hands, you're getting them on the wrists, you're getting it full body right there, man. So... You know, he doesn't have his leg tattoos just yet, but that will come. We're going to get a Royal Rumble Elite or Ultimate of CM Punk. They're going to give us a Money in the Bank Ultimate Edition redo. It's going to all happen, man. All these figures are going to take place. This is absolutely just the first stepping stone into CM Punk action figures. I know a lot of people want the wrestling gear, like I stated, but this is a good first step. I think that this is going to set the tone for the rest of the punks. And this one's going to be very unique. Again, you get the plain white tee that you can pair with your Daniel Bryan or your Bryan Danielson from Unmatched Series 9. They could be the plain white tee together in a tag team there and then he also is going to come with his one of his first shirts back right the cm punk black tee with the chicago flag and the punk logo in the black gonna look really good on this figure as well and you can put that on all your different punks man i mean this is just such an easy purchase because of all the bells and whistles that it's going to have it has the watch accessory which is a great detail i imagine this figure is going to be a great base in the future for for more figures like we talked about with the pants man but shirtless it looks good with the t-shirts it looks good i think you know it's gonna have the go to sleep pants or the ricochet Kawhi leonard style entrance hands he's got the fists in there and him having the ricochet Kawhi leonard hands is obviously pointing to an ultimate edition being released with the go to sleep hands you know because with the butterfly joints you can actually get the go to sleep pose so that'll be epic but i had to talk about this first man i mean this is going up for pre-order again on march 22nd i do believe that's Friday. Friday, 10.20 a.m. Pacific time, man. Set your clocks. And, of course, we're going to cover all the news here, whatever's revealed at that event. And that's not the only thing we're getting at the event, man. They're going to reveal more stuff. It does say we have a figure going up for pre-order. Remember, in our news from the other day, if you guys missed our news from the other day, we kind of discuss it even more. But they are going to have a figure going up for pre-order during the event. I imagine this is the figure that they were talking about. So this punk, this punk's going to go up for pre-order, and then they're going to review, reveal a few more other things. So I do imagine we're going to see some more stuff. And I imagine whatever they show will be Mattel Creations exclusive, unless otherwise stated. But they're really, like, revving up this Mattel Creations thing. So I do imagine that it's all going to be Mattel Creations exclusive related and not just, you know, store exclusives and things like that. So I do imagine it'll all be online exclusive, but we'll have to see about that. But CM Punk's the first figure I wanted to talk about, man, because I just had to. I just had to get on here and talk about this at long form and discuss everything. But overall, I think the figure looks good. I know it's not wrestling gear, but 25 bucks. I mean, that's an easy cop multiple times over. I definitely think that people are going to buy multiples of these. This figure is going to sell ridiculously. So this should be a fun one, man. Can't wait for more punks. 
and I do imagine we'll probably see something. I don't know about, you know, it, it takes a year to make, so we'll have to see, but this punk looks pretty damn good. I'm excited for it, man. Let's get into our next bit of news that we have, man. So, literally hours ago of posting this video or, you know, doing this video, editing this video, Bill McKenna actually uploaded a post of a DC multiverse figure, and I think he posted up, like, a picture of the DC multiverse Lobo figure, and it was on its motorcycle, like, that set that they released, and in the background, you can see a Dominic Mysterio Elite figure. Now, in the background of this photo, I commented on the photo and even shared the post, and I went back, like, five minutes later, and it was gone, so I don't know if he accidentally meant to post this or what but he quickly deleted it after but it was too late i already screenshotted it i already screenshotted it was going to talk about it but i don't know if he meant to leak that out or what or maybe he thought nobody was awake and maybe we'd see it the next day but yeah it got leaked out there man elite 109 dominic mysterio and then here it is man look at this dominic mysterio now it's very similar to his elite 105 figure but look at the head sculpt it's got the sunglasses on there and it also has it looks like this bandana is going to be cloth goods man this looks like a cloth goods bandana that is wrapped around this head sculpt. He's got the sunglasses, and he even has the long sleeve flannel on there, which just getting that flannel right there is an automatic, like, multiple copies because you can put that flannel on so many different figures, man. I imagine it's going to Velcro at the top of the neck right there. And I do believe the undershirt's plain black, which is kind of, kind of lame, but at the same time, I still think it's nice. It is a repaint of the Elite 105 for the most part. You're getting a little bit of change there, but with the, with the bandana... And with the flannel shirt, I mean, it's a must-have. It's a must-have. I think this is awesome. But I did want to put this up because I thought it was very interesting. And I, uh, you know, he posted that up. And I was like, oh, damn, he posted this. I woke up in the middle of the night, actually. It was like 1.30 a.m. or something like that. And, you know, on the West Coast, it's like 11-something. And so seeing that, when I opened up Instagram, I said, you know what, Brad? Got to go ahead and snag that. We're going to put that in a news video. So Dominic looks good. I'm excited for it. I think it looks great. Can't wait to see exactly what it is. And Elite 109 being completely finished like this, that means that they have the rest of the wave. And Elite one, one Elite Series 109, they have, you know, there's a lot of figures in that wave, man. You know, Seth Rollins is in that wave. Dominic, Damian Priest, Bailey, Cody Rhodes, and Shinsuke. So I imagine at WrestleMania World, we're going to see this full wave on display. And it should be epic, man. Can't wait for it. Hopefully, Cody Rhodes is in the Royal Rumble 2023 gear. And we'll see that new world championship that comes with Seth Rollins. So I'm, ex I'm excited for it, man. But the next bit of news that we have, man, is going to be Elite Series 112. Apparently, Elite Series 112 has been uh, leaked out there, man. And again, take this with a grain of salt. I did get this news from a man, Unstable1047. But he posted up this. It's from a guy named Matt Culture on the Wrestling Figure Forums here. And it says, per a certain German website, WWE Mattel Elite Series 112. And we're going to go through the full wave here. I'm going to discuss the entire thing with you guys. So just buckle up. Let's get through this entire wave. And then we also have some main event figures. And we also have a best of basic series that we're going to get into and kind of just cover everything and who's coming and all those different things, man. But the first figure in Elite Series 112. Now, if you guys are unaware, Elite 108 is out there, 109, 110, 111, all kind of, you know, we pretty much know what's coming for the most part, thanks to Collector's Insider, who bats a thousand, by the way. And we do have this. Now, if Collector's Insider posted this, it would be 100%, but this seems like a very logical Elite 112. So we'll get into it. You guys can let me know what you think here. But the first figure in Elite 112 is apparently going to be Seth Rollins. Now, Seth Rollins being in Elite 112, I know a lot of people are going to be, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I love Seth Rollins, so it doesn't really bother me, but I know a lot of people are probably like, man, can we get some more, you know, some differentiation in the line? But, you know, he is an Elite Series 109. But before that, we hadn't seen a Seth Rollins in a minute. And really, we've kind of been slacking in the Seth Rollins Elite category, man. I mean, we, we do have the top pa talents. We've had, you know, like the Elite 93 and then the repaint of that, the Elite 99. But it's not like they've been pumping Seth Rollins out as much as they used to. At least it seems that way for me. But... Him being in Elite 109 and then being in this wave right here, I'm excited for. And also, I don't know who the chase is in this set, but Seth Rollins is the first figure in this set. He has so many colorful gears, man, that it just really makes sense that we'd get more figures of him. We only have one Ultimate Edition. I know we do have the Fan Takeover Ultimate Edition coming soon. Hopefully, to God, we'll get an update on that at WrestleMania or at this revealed event on Friday, because my Lord in heaven, I feel like that figure... We haven't heard anything about that figure in a whole year. It's almost been a whole year. At WrestleMania, that will be a full year that we never knew who won the vote. We don't know what's coming about it. We got some information on the Rey Mysterio. The Rey Mysterio is pretty much almost about to release. Some people even have it in hand. So these are some things that uh, I hope to see that Ultimate Edition Seth Rollins. I pray to God it's not the, the shield gear, man. I'll have to crumble into the floor. But Seth Rollins is the first figure in the way, man. The next figure in Elite Series 112 is going to be JD McDonough. And this is interesting to me because I feel like I don't know if it's soon enough for him to get a Judgment Day Elite. Obviously, Elite 112 is a ways away. I mean, you're looking at, I mean, we're only Elite 108. We don't even have Elite 
108 in hand yet, and it's almost April. So I imagine if we get Elite 112, that'll be at the end of the year. That'll probably be the last figure set that releases, if that. I guess I could be wrong about that, but I'm just kind of going based off different knowledge there. So I don't know. Elite 112, I don't know if we'll get that this year, and I don't, I mean, I guess maybe it could be him in his Judgment Day gear. I mean, maybe it is far enough out. But I guess that'll just depend on when they started on it and whatnot. But it wouldn't shock me if it's not in his Judgment Day gear, but maybe it is. I hope it is. I, you know, I hope that it is. But pro by the time this that figure comes out, he'll, he may not even be in Judgment Day anymore. So we'll have to see about that. And I imagine the fall of Judgment Day would have to come at some point, you know. I don't know when that's going to come, but I'm enjoying their work, so, you know. But J.D. McDonough, having a first figure of him, I'm intrigued with it. You know, he doesn't even have a basic figure, so that will be a first time on the line unless they do release a two-pack or something like that with him. But I imagine they'll probably crush it, you know. I think that'll be a pretty cool figure right there to get in the line. And then the next figure in the line, man, is going to be Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt returning to the line now. We do know that his figures were canceled. You know, we did have a bunch of his figures, or two figures for sure. His Elite Greatest Hits figure and his Ultimate Edition were canceled or put on hiatus for obvious reasons. Rest in peace to the legend. But Bray Wyatt, I don't know if this is going to be that unreleased figure plugged back in here to the main Elite line, similar to like a Bruno San Martino situation. I don't know if that's going to be the case here, or if it's going to be a brand new Bray Wyatt. Now, one thing that I thought about is maybe it's going to be Bray Wyatt to match with your Elite 107 Undertaker, you know, from Raw 30. I could see that being the case, man. Maybe they'll redo that and, you know, make an Elite out of that where he attacked LA Knight, right, I think, and him and Undertaker had a moment in the ring where he whispered in his ear there. I think that could absolutely be that version of Bray Wyatt that we get here, like a promo-style Bray Wyatt, which would be amazing. And I do believe that we're probably going to get some sort of legacy pack with Bray Wyatt one day. That would be really cool, I think, to reveal at Comic-Con. I could see them doing that. Maybe a, you know, just like they've been doing with these big elite packs, maybe they do an elite three pack of Bray Wyatt, and it could have, you know, Wyatt family version, or maybe even Husky Harris. That would be cool. They could do Husky Harris, do a, you know, a Wyatt Family version, and then they could do the Firefly Funhouse version, like a revamped, nice, better version than the original. Or they could even do his Dark Gear. Maybe they do the Fiend, like a revamped Fiend figure. But we never got an Elite in the khaki pants with the sweater and everything like that nicely done, so maybe they'll do that. I don't know. Like, I know we had Elite 85, but he looked like a damn Scooby-Doo character. He didn't really have everything. Even though I do love that Elite 85 figure, I think that they could revamp it and do it even better. So we'll just have to see about that, but I think a Legacy Pack for Bray Wyatt would be amazing. But apparently he is an Elite 112 here, which I think that would be long enough there, and, you know, they can start to make his figures again. I think they're going to be highly sought after. they got to get to that Ultimate Edition, man. That Ultimate Edition was beautiful with the glow-in-the-dark match there. Their front row for that figure at the Royal Rumble, i got to have that, and I do believe that was actually his last match ever, and I think that, yeah, that's that's going to be a piece that's sought after for sure. I, I can't wait to see what that figure looks like. It looks so cool, man. Imagine that thing under a black light. Just unreal figure right there, man. Super. That may be one of the most anticipated figures I'm waiting on right there is that Bray Wyatt Ultimate, but then the next figure in the set is going to be Becky Lynch. Now, we've had quite a few Becky Lynches, but I'm hoping, I'm actually praying to God, this is something that, I want to say I tweeted about this when it happened, but what show was it when Becky Lynch came out in that Kill Bill inspired gear and she fought Trish Stratus? I think that would be sick as hell in that all yellow. That would be, be really unique, you know, like Becky Lynch's figures have been kind of unique the last few we've seen, that four pack, that then now forever together four pack that they showed off or that we got not too long ago in that black dress style attire, like that Lady Gaga look, the, you know, the Bex style gimmick there. You know, we had that figure, we had her red, like, Scarlet Witch Survivor Series gear, and then to get this Kill Bill gear would be really sick, man. I, I would love to see this in Elite form, which is interesting because isn't Trish Stratus also coming in Elite Series 111, so maybe they'll do their two matchups there, which I know it's like a full body suit, which is kind of unique, but it being unique in that I think it would be cool to get both of those figures to represent that match, so that would be really cool if we got that black and pink Trish, and then you you got the all yellow Becky would be really sick. I hope that that's the gear. That would actually be a figure that I'm really looking forward to, especially with the women's figures being so significantly upgraded now. That figure would be amazing. And also, I like Becky Lynch's figure, so that'll be money. Hopefully, you know, they nail the head sculpt and all the bells and whistles, but Kill Bill Becky Lynch would be fantastic. I believe it was, what, like Night of Champions or something like that when they wore that, so that would be sweet, man. Hopefully, that will be the case that we get. But the next figure in Elite Series 112 is going to be Xavier Woods. Now, Xavier Woods has not had a figure since Elite 97, I think it was, where he was the chase. You had the white and gold gear. It was the King Woods era. He had the He-Man inspired gear. Very sweet. Very sweet figure there. And I think that this could also make for a good figure. I don't know what the hell gear it could be, man. I mean, New Day are constantly coming out with new gears and stuff like that. So Xavier Woods coming right there would be sweet. I don't know again what gear it could be, but we will have to wait and see. But hopefully... 
it will be a good figure. I like his new formula that they've installed for him. And Xavier Woods has a lot of great figures. So having him back in the line, you know, it's been a minute since we've gotten him. So that doesn't really shock me there. And what one thing that I think about with a lot of WWE figures, man, is, you know, there's so there's such a vast roster of unique talents. And I know it, it, you're limited to who's under a deal that you can make, right? Like you can't sign, you can't do figures of people that you know, or not signed with the company and whatnot. So there is a limited amount of people you can make. But at the same time, there's a ton of options to make. So, you know, trying to get people back in the line and revamping people and get, you know, updating people that are on TV and trying to, you know, constantly get that flow of money there from the audiences that are buying your figures. I don't know, just an interesting development right there. I'd like to know what goes into the process of that and what the process of elimination and where they can fit guys and how those meetings go. I'd like to actually just sit in on a meeting like that one day. But nonetheless, man, the last figure in Elite 112 is going to be Channing Stax Lorenzo right here. Now, this actually makes a lot of sense because if you go back to Elite Series 111, you will know that we're getting Tony D'Angelo. So having Tony D'Angelo to go with your Elite 112 Stax makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? It just makes the most sense there. So we do know in Elite Series 111, you know, you have Cody Rhodes, Finn Balor, Tony D'Angelo, Ricochet, Sandman, and Trish Stratus. So a lot of figures that are shown here in Elite 112 kind of make sense to go hand in hand. This is this is a good statement right here, all right? So if you go back to Elite 111, maybe Finn Balor is going to be in his SummerSlam gear. And then in Elite 112, Seth Rollins will be in his SummerSlam gear from their epic matchup at SummerSlam. So that would, you know what I'm saying? So these figures go together. Trish Stratus, Knight of Champions. Becky Lynch, Knight of Champions, Elite 112. Sandman, you know, obviously goes with Xavier Woods forever. Like, obviously that makes sense. But you get what I'm saying. So Channing would go with your Tony D'Angelo. They'll probably come with the NXT Tag Titles. Hopefully they get some good gears in there. You know, we're getting... Again, man, they're really staying on this thing where they keep an NXT talent. They try to give you a women's talent. They give you updated talent. And then they try to go with a flashback. And so you do have a lot of... You know, mostly everybody in this wave is current day talent. But they do have an NXT guy in there. They do have a female talent represented in there. And then when you throw this in with all their different sub-waves, when you have your Royal Rumble Elites, your SummerSlam Elites, your WrestleMania elites, your Survivor Series elites, your defining moments, your ringside exclusives, your store exclusives, your Monday Night Wars, all these different stuff, you can really capture a ton of different eras of the audience, which goes back to our vast roster of talent that they can make. So yeah, just all, just all craziness right there, man. But the last thing that I want to get into is the basic main event series here. It's apparently WWE Mattel Basic Series slash Main Event Series 150 and in this wave, we're going to see our first CM Punk basic, Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Rock, Lita, and Rey Mysterio, which is a pretty damn star-studded talent wave right there, man. I mean, look at that. All the Hall of Famers. Every single one of those is a Hall of Famer. So that's, a, you know, coming in with the big punches right there. Hopefully, all those figures look good. Hopefully, they have good head sculpts. And, you know, a lot of, hopefully, they don't look flat. I mean, that's really the main thing there. Hopefully, all those figures look really good in main event series. Of course, the new added leg articulation adds a ton of a ton of depth to the figures, but, you know, they still can remain flat. It's still, you know, points to be seen there. I feel like a lot of the deco and stuff like that, especially on female figures, seems to fall a bit flat, but I'm excited for these figures. I can't wait to see exactly what these look like. You know, it's kind of hard to judge. It could be any gear from any era from all those talents, so we'll just have to wait and see. But the last little set we have here is the WWE Mattel Best of Basic Series, which is going to include Gunther, Roman Reigns, Cody Rhodes, and John Cena. No surprises there. All top talents, all people that people want in their you know, in their collections, you know, the big faces on the on the screen right there, man, little Timmy going down the aisle, looks up, snags a John Cena, snags a Roman Reigns, snags a Cody, makes all the sense in the world to me, I have z zero issues with any of that right there, you know, it is a best of, man, but that is, that is the last little bit of WWE action figure news that we have, we also have a little bit of AEW action figure news right here, man, and I, I, I mean, this is a long one, we had a very long news video right here, hopefully you guys enjoy the long form videos like this so you guys can let me know down in the comment section below i greatly appreciate it but the last bit of news that we have man is apparently collect forever old collect forever getting another exclusive aew unrivaled figure here man and this is going to be the third one that we've seen but he is number four i do believe we have collect forever kenny omega here now again these collect forever figures are sealed in an acrylic casing like an acrylic you know plastic casing here and i do believe all of them are still up for pre-order the sting and the cm punk are still up for pre-order if i'm not mistaken but Collect Forever Kenny Omega going up here, man. And this figure is basically the unrivaled for Kenny Omega, but it does have the Supreme Edition. Now, I don't know if it's actually Supreme Edition, but it does have the Supreme Edition attire, right? It's got the, it's got that same gear, but it is an unrivaled figure, I do believe. Kenny Omega here, he's got a microphone. 
they have put that together and put it into an acrylic casing for these Collect Forever figures. And again, you can't really get to the figure, man. All these figures that are coming out in the Collect Forever lines, you can't get to these. And I don't know how well these are selling. I have no idea who's purchasing these and wants these for their collections. You guys can let me know if you guys are grabbing these. But I don't know, man. They're sealed in that acrylic casing. And we've discussed this a little bit on the channel about, you know, how they do the, these and the double-edged sword of, you know, making the, this line and stuff like that. Because, you know, at the end of the day, action figures are usually supposed to be taken out and played with and posed around so when you don't have that option you're kind of limited on you know what kind of bells and whistles you can add to these figures so um just some different information there but i want to know what you guys think of the collect forever kenny omega easy pass you know at least it's a little different but i mean everything's just re-released for that for the most part man so you could really you could throw this figure together if you have the parts laying around so maybe that's their goal i don't know what their exact thinking process is on the the selections for this but we don't know what the last figure is because the, this is number four right so you know stings one cm punk's one and then kenny omega's one there is one missing there so we'll have to see about that but i do believe that is every bit of news that we had man again a very long news video hope you guys you did enjoy it i do enjoy you know getting on here it's almost like a podcast with a video format because, you know, I can sit here and chat about the figures and I can put them on the screen. So, you know, I don't have a host or a co-host or anything like that, but I still, um, I treat it like I'm just talking to an open panel, like I'm sitting at a table with a, like, you know, whoever the hell, thousands watching, you know, and I just speak and talk about the figures, man, as if I have a PowerPoint presentation or something. So that's how I treat these things, man. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the long form videos. But I do believe that is all of the news that we have today, man. I'd love to know where your heads are at on all of this. Are you pre-ordering the CM Punk? Are you skipping over the CM Punk? Are you just, you know what I'm saying? What, let me know what you think, man. Do you like the promo gear? Are you over the promo gear? I don't see shin cut, obviously, on that figure, too. It just hit me in the dome, but that's okay. I think it's still going to be fine. Hopefully, we get some more promo gears in the future. We do have that LWO Ray coming that's also in a promo gear, so maybe this will be the future, man. been waiting on figures like this forever, so hopefully this will be sort of a, a stance that we can get more in the line there. But Also, I just thought about it. Why the hell? If CM Punk can get these legs right here, man, put these legs on Finn Balor. Don't give him those small legs, man. You put these legs on there. Even though I guess these aren't technically joggers. They're kind of jeans. Nonetheless, I'm shutting the hell up. I'm getting the hell out, man. Huge shout out to our Patreon members of the MDT YouTube channel. Appreciate all you fellas over there, man. Thank you guys so very much for all your support, man. Greatly appreciate those. If you guys are interested in that, check that out down below. I also have merch on Pro Wrestling Tees that is also available down below, guys, if you want to support the channel in that way. I greatly appreciate it, but I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.